Yo guys, what is going on? It's a question that we could ask the Borough players right now. It's a question which we could ask Gary Monk right now. What is going on? Seriously, man, what is going on? Now, last week I got really angry on the camera. I don't feel the need to get angry today. Seriously. Because me getting angry isn't doing anything. Is it? Let's be honest. I mean, the only thing I have for many things to be angry about today. One of them's a result. One of them's the fact that I'm losing all my hair. This is receding. That makes me angry. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what to say because it doesn't seem that like we're moving forward. It's about as simple as that. Now, I left a very, very colourful interview on Borough Fan TV tonight. Um, if you guys want to go and check that interview out, go over to the Borough Fan TV and click the subscribe button on their YouTube channel and like the Facebook page. You will see raw how 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 I felt after this game tonight. I should say this afternoon, but it does feel like tonight. Obviously, I've just got in a quarter to nine. Um, I've been up this morning to half seven. Really, really excited for today's game. Really ex like. Not even expecting, just believing in the believing in the team. Um, and we see some things after the game that Triore wasn't in the team because he didn't get to the bus in time. And I'm thinking to myself, are you serious? Really? You don't get to the bus in time? Like, what kind of mentality are we showing these players? Like, are they just trying to take the mick out of Gary Monk? It's all right, I won't turn up in time, i still got on the bus. Well, no, you won't because the bus will leave without you. It's as simple as that. Like, where was the players' heads at? Do you know what I mean? I ask myself this question now because I think that one thing there has wound me up. Triori misses the bus, he doesn't travel with the team. Why are you being late for? Do you not respect the manager? Do you not, do you not respect the team? Do you not believe in the ambition that is in this club? Do you not believe in the drive of the season that promotion is the only way forward? Mr Gibson, put his hand in his pocket yet again. Give us the money in the summer. We went out and spent it on players. We spent a lot of money. You know, overall is nine million. But if you take all that away, how much you put in? Fifty million plus he put in in the summer, and we were paying him by not beating teams that we should be beating, like friggin' Barnsley. Are you winding me up, Borough man? You can't beat Barnsley. Are you having my life? Are you joking with me right now? You can't beat Barnsley, and I will say, just a team like Barnsley because they're a championship team. Simple fact. They're not going up, they're not going down, they're just a mid-table championship team. And people are saying to me, oh, AJT you're fickle, AJT you're this, AJT you're that. I travel home and away with my team. Every game. Okay, yeah, there was two that I missed out on at the start of the season. Northern Forest away, Wolves away. Purely because of financial, I couldn't get there purely because of the money. But listen, I put my money, I put my money, bring my trip out my office if you like, and I go to these games. Home and away. I get in at ridiculous o'clock and I go to work because it's my own choice. Because I love this football club. This club means a world to me. No one will ever understand how much I love this football club. My last thing, don't ever take, don't ever take the butter away. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Don't ever take this club away from me. Because you take this club away from me and I have nothing. I have nothing worth to live for. Simple fact. This football club means everything to me. I get up in the morning and I think about our next game. I think about going to watch my team. I think about going to watch the home and away. I sing my heart. Today I lost my voice at half time. My voice was just completely KO'd. And I'm singing that much. I want to get behind the team that much. It was awful, man. It was it was awful. It was frustrating to watch. It's upsetting to watch when you know your team just isn't giving that performance that you want to friggin' see. When, you know what I mean? We're travelling up and down the country every single game. And we're seeing performance that we've seen today. I didn't say it all the first time. is isn't the first time I've seen a bad performance. I didn't see a bad performance at Fulham. Fulham wasn't good. I had to travel it was pretty, much like a, pretty much 11, 12 hour round trip to get there and watch it. It wasn't good. The fans were getting charged 40 quid to get into there today. Fans were getting charged 30 pounds to be in today at Barnes. And you may say it isn't far away. But you're still in a way game. you still got to travel. You still ain't getting home till 9 o'clock on a night. Do you know what I'm saying? It's, it isn't good enough. I'm telling you now. I want to go up this season. I want to, I want to go up this like every fan does. I want to see Borough in the Premier League next season. I do. That is that is what I want to see. 
the, you know what I mean? But we're not going to get promoted if we keep playing the way we're playing now. Because you can't beat these sort of teams. It isn't just these I'm going to target. It isn't just Barnes that I'm targeting. You want to you want to challenge with the big boys next season. That's realistically. If you go to the Premier League, you've got to be able to challenge against the likes of Man United, Man City, Tottenham, Chelsea. We've seen Chelsea got today. It got beat today by Crystal Palace. Do you know what I'm saying? But you've got to be able to go to that level. You've got to be able to stay your first season in the Premier League. We can't even get in the top six of this season. And you may say, yeah, it's early days. Yeah, it's okay because we're only three points off the playoffs. Where was he see the three points coming from? Because we can't win freaking football matches. Simple. We're conceding first. Fifth game in a row that we conceded first. And it may be an own goal. I don't care what it was. It's the fact that we're conceding first every game. And literally, we get the goal back. Fantastic goal by Martin Braithwaite. Listen, the ball in's good. Flick on by Ayala. Braithwaite puts it in. And as you can imagine, I go ballistic because my team have scored. I'm going to go nuts. I, look, I, just, I just go mental, I go mental in the stand because I think right now, now Borough are going to wake up. Even though we conceded first, we bounce back. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna kick on now. We're going to do good things in this football match. I couldn't be more wrong. I couldn't be more wrong. Defensive errors cost us a second goal. Ball in. No one seems to clear the second ball, if you like. Not at all. And the kick comes past and it gives us this. I will give you this. Don't do this to me. Simple. Don't do it to, don't, don't wire me up. Now, I'm already annoyed now. The second goal's gone in. I look at the sky and I think to myself, what am I watching? What am I watching here? This is upsetting to watch. This is hard to watch. This is not the team. This is not the team I'm used to watching. Lackluster performances in the first half. I just I just don't get it. Even like the back end of the second half, so the last five minutes, Boris will be trying to start playing. Why does it have to be that way? Why can't you use a full 45 minute performance? Because the second half was really good. But the first half, it didn't seem like we were on it at all. I've seen Leeds fans saying, Gary Monk sends his team out in the first half to not play very well. To sort of just, sort of, you know, try and find the way in the game. And then he bollocks him at half time and get, makes him come out in the second half and play. That's not helping though. When is it if you're going to bollock him at half time, even though you sent him out to do a job, but yet you're not happy with it? You sent him out to do that job. It was ridiculous. I don't know what they're learning on training ground. I don't know if they're learning set pieces. I don't know what the hell they're learning. But they're not learning the right sort of thing. Today, Guy Monk left both of our wingers out of the team completely. Now, Triore missed the bus. Whatever. But you leave Marvin Johnson completely out. Well, what, what, what's wrong with him? I've been really impressed by Marvin Johnson. Now, Downing came in and put a shift in. Downing did pretty well. Let's be honest. Downing pretty well. But Marvin Johnson's not done nothing wrong. He's been, he's been brilliant when I've watched him. He's been very, very attacking, but you, you know what I mean? You leave out the whole team altogether. Second half, don't get me wrong, you know what I mean? We came on, we looked on it. Uh, Some belonger scored it. I was bouncing then, I thought, this is it now. Borough are going to do something, man. We looked on it. Um, I think it was Fletcher that missed that. Oh, man, oh, such an easy chance, man. Such an easy chance. Ball forced to him. It's him and the goalkeeper. Flick it over him. Just put your foot through it when you're about six yards out. But he booted straight at the goalkeeper, and I'm thinking to myself, it's, just, it's not going to be our day. Just like it wasn't our day against Norwich. Just like it wasn't our day against Fulham. Just like it wasn't our day against Brentford. Excuse after excuse to why we draw against teams that we should be beating. You know, Barnsley fans will sit there and say, oh, but you know what? You know, Barnsley turned up. Yeah, because Borough didn't. That's why. That's why he got the draw, because Borough didn't turn up. Yes, okay, we scored two goals, and we had an okay second half. They could have won it in the second half. They hit the post in the second half, and came close a couple of times to scoring. We could have lost that game today 4-2, or we could have won the game 3-2, but we didn't, we drew it 2-2. And now we're, now we're 11th, and then people say, you know, but we're only three points off the playoffs. You tell me right now, even in the comment section, where else are we going to get these three points from? Because I want to, listen, I want to beat Cardiff next week. But are we going to beat Cardiff if you keep playing the way we're playing? Now, people that didn't go to the game won't see the performances that other people seen. Fair play. So you won't understand how frustrated I am right now if you didn't go to the game. If you were at the game... You may be able to sort of feel my frustration, depending on how you've seen the game. I'm frustrated, I'm annoyed, because these performances, they keep happening. We keep conceding first. We keep having these slow starts. And it's just it's just driving me insane. It's driving me loopy, man. I don't know what we're going to... I don't even know what to say no more. Genuinely, and we're only 13 games into the season. And I'm already fed up, genuine fed up, because I'm going to these games, yeah, and I'm getting behind the players, yeah. And I'm singing me out of every single game. Every single minute of the match, I'm singing me out for the boys. Even if I've got to sing alone inside the crowd because there's no one around me singing, I will sing my heart out. 
But when you give giving that sort of performance, it just drives you crazy, man. It drives you insane. I say, you know, we've got to go to Cardiff now. Well, should I say Cardiff have got to come to us? I want to see three points. I just want to see a decent performance. I want to see us whitewash a team. Now, the only, team, the only two teams to beat outright this season are teams that are probably going to get relegated being Bolton and Burton. Everyone's battering them at the minute. Um, you know, Bolton, Bolton do score goals and do win games, so do Burton, but... Apart from them, which team have you beaten comfortably? Tell me, which which teams? Because I haven't seen one yet. So it's the fourth game of the season next next Saturday, home to Cardiff. And it's a it's, it's stupid, but it's a must win. Because we need the three points. We need to get back into the top six. It seems like it seems like it seems like it isn't the same but it isn't the same mentality to what we had last season. Um almost as in like the same sort of, you know, we need to get promoted this you know, we need to be on it. We don't seem to have that mentality now. Of course, it's going to come with a new manager and whatnot. But the players are still the same. A few have changed, but some of the players are still the same. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I just want to see better performances. Now, my, my, my Borough Fan TV interview is very colourful. Um, and it expresses a lot of things I need to get off my chest. Um, don't get me wrong, I love being able to go into Borough um, week in, week out. Don't get me wrong, I love that. I love watching this team. I love, I love going and support this team. But Borough frustrate me, and they frustrate many other people. And when Borough do these sort of performances, I've got to get, I've got to get out exactly how I'm feeling, because I wouldn't want to hold nothing back to you guys. I know you guys watch these sort of reviews, and you kind of want to know exactly how I'm feeling. But I'm feeling, and I'm very annoyed. The only good thing about tonight is that I've got Parmesan in the fridge from Jeff for Chef. That's the only bonus I've got tonight. Um, and obviously I can watch match of the day and watch Man City win seven two. That's the only positive. I'm annoyed and frustrated yet again for another week. Hopefully next week it can be all smiles from me. Hopefully I can be very happy. But um, I mean, we've got to dwell on this now. Well, I don't even want to dwell on it, but it's going to happen, isn't it? And so, you know, we've got a week now to prepare for Cardiff. I hope we prepare for Cardiff properly. I hope I'm sat here now with a big smile on my face and not angry and frustrated. And then, obviously, we've got a long trek down to Bournemouth in the Cup. Which I hope, I hope we put performance in because that's a long way to go, man. That's a long way to go. It's a frigging trek on. It's about 12 or 13 hour round trip, depending on the traffic. Hopefully we did put performance in, but you know, the first game that comes first to us now is Cardiff in a week's time. Performance is needed, man. Big, big, big performance is needed when the boys. Do I believe we get the three points? Listen, I always believe. Always believe in the boys. Always. Um, but like I say, I'm out guys. I'm gonna go and chill out and enjoy try and enjoy the rest of my Saturday night. You guys take care. Border fans well travelled man, five thousand fans today, fantastic. Hope you all have a safe travel home. If you're not home already, have a safe travel home if you're watching this video. You guys take care and uh I will see you again tomorrow for my live stream, twenty past one. Be here tomorrow. We will be watching both Super Sunday games tomorrow. And I'll truly I'll be in a better mood because I'm live streaming. I get to talk to you guys live. So you guys take care. Have a good rest of your Saturday night. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the live stream. Up the borough.